Next up is the accidental rocket that could ruin your next barbecue. So you're looking excited, what's up? It's our MIP, it's a good one, which kind of reminds me of my childhood. Okay, hit me. All right, imagine a garage or a shed is on fire. Inside is a barbecue with a propane tank. It explodes and turns into a rocket launching 150 feet into the air. Oh, I've heard of this one. It's very similar to the water heater rocket. The heat causes the pressure inside the tank to build, then there's a catastrophic rupture, and sends the tank flying up into the sky. Wait, wait, wait. This reminds me of your childhood? Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. My parents are still a little upset. Like they said, this isn't the first time we've uh, adapted a pressure vessel, or deliberately set one on fire, or even tried to turn a gas tank into a missile. But if this myth is true, catastrophe could be brewing in your own backyard. The story goes that a propane tank once became a rocket at its perfect trajectory hit 150 feet. Look, I gotta say, I got my doubts about this. How so? Propane tanks, just like all of the pressurized vessels, have a pressure relief valve built in. When the pressure gets too high, they simply vent off the excess, thereby averting a catastrophic failure. Yeah, but what if the fire is so intense that the pressure is building faster inside the tank than the relief valve can dump out? Well, I suppose it's possible. But needs bomb range. <laughs> Now, for this myth, we need a burning garage with a propane tank inside of it. Now, since no one's gonna let us burn down a garage, we need to build our own. But we don't have time to build a full-size one, so we're gonna make a miniature one. But we're still gonna build it up to code. It's gonna have studs every 16 inches. It's gonna have three walls, a driveway, and a roof. Now, that should be plenty of material to burn in order to get this garage hot enough to turn this propane tank into a rocket. So you're probably wondering, how can a propane tank turn into a rocket? Let me paint the picture. You heat up the tank, the pressure inside builds to a high, high amount. Enough that the tank ruptures somewhere, hopefully in a small pinhole that forms a nozzle. The gas comes shooting out, it catches fire, and all of that causes thrust that launches the tank up into the air like a rocket. They're hoping this neat little outhouse will eventually burn at a temperature of over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's almost too pretty to put to the torch, but beauty fades fast around here. It's Tori's Playhouse! And the magic word for the day is explosion. Here on the show, we like to say that every day is a good day for an explosion, but some days are definitely better than others. I thought the dangerous part was gonna be the exploding probate tank. You all right? Oh, no. It's hardly a firm foundation, but the guys know that today, the joys of shed ownership will be fleeting. As a rocket launch site, this will soon be a smoking pile of ashes. Shame, really. Harry, I really love these colors. They're very hot for fall, you know. It's one of the hardest things on Mythbusters, and one of the coolest things on Mythbusters is you spend so much time on a beautiful build, and then you just obliterate it in seconds. Woo! They're now ready to install the stunt barbecue and the star of the show. Hey, don't forget the propane. Came straight from my garage. But there's still some fuel to add to the fire. So this kind of looks like a lot of firewood, right? Well, it is, because what we want is for this fire to burn long and hot. So they stack the shed with wood and charcoal, two common commodities that should catch fire and raise the temperature. Now, this fire is gonna get so hot that there is a good chance that this tank is gonna explode. But we want a rocket, and if the relief valve does its job, this could turn out to be nothing more than a backyard bonfire. Then again, one of the great things about Mythbusters is that we're so often wrong. Now all we have to do is set it on fire. Is this thing gonna burn? Oh yeah, it is. Is it gonna explode? It might. Is it gonna turn into a rocket? I hope so. After a liberal splash of gasoline, that ought to do it. the team shows its flair for setting a fire. All right, you guys ready? Ready. Let's torch this thing in three, two, one. Whoa! Each passing second feels like 10 as they hightail it back to the bunker, 